All right, time now for the good news segment with Epifania. Stay with me. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. So we have good news. When I saw this, I was like, this is definitely some good news stories. Because right. I was just thinking to myself, how great is this? The, Ghana, the government has saved quite an amount of money when right. they replaced foreigners with the locals. So wait, is it that they didn't know the locals could That's do a the thing. job? That's a thing. Or is it that they didn't believe the locals could do a good job? When did this happen, by or the way? Or they didn't think it would be happening, you know? When did they happen? Well, it, it, during this month, actually, the whole summation has happened this month. Right. The money calculation was done this month. So, mm. yeah. Uh, actually, it was the chief executive officer of the Ghana Gas Company Limited. He disclosed that the company has been saving $3.5 million each month. Since they replaced these yes. workers with the uh, Ghanaian yes. workers. Wow. Yes. Each month. Each month. Mm. Now, the initially technical operations of the company's plants, which was located in the western region of the West African country, was actually run by 50 Chinese nationals, and they received exorbitant amounts of money. Why wouldn't they? From the I mean, states. yeah, they're, they're seen as, you know, foreigners, and they may supposedly have the, the part that, expertise that... The, well, the part that gets to me is the fact that you go here, to their country, you know, and then they are not receiving even no, a quarter of what think, they come and Why take do you think here. they're all over the world? Why do you think they're all over the world? And there's this statistics. I just cannot remember the figure. And it proves that in Ghana, we have more more Chinese nationals than oh, we do. This, West uh, African this, country. This, this company that produces gas for Ghana and then is it Burkina Faso or Cote d'Ivoire? Asogli. Asogli? It's, it's around familiar. home, but then they, pro they produce gas it's for... Coming, I think... Okay, I'm, I'm not quite They produce sure. gas for the state mm. and then also for some of uh, some other African countries. Right. You go there mm. and the Asogli is, is actually, uh, it's like a partnership between the chief, the Asogli chief in the Volta region. Okay. And then the Chinese, some of the Chinese people. Mm. You go there and then you have blacks that work there. They run shifts, different forms of shifts. And the way they treat the blacks. You mean Ghanaians? I mean Ghanaians mm. is not the best. But they bring Chinese people and then the Ghanaians that are here, they ask them to train them. After they train the Chinese, then they promote the Chinese and make you make the Chinese your boss. Are you serious? I'm telling you. No, wait. Uh, that's that's. Uh, wait a minute. So a Ghanaian who is fully qualified, who is working for years, Chinese. yes, they bring a Chinese. They tell you to train him, so he follow you wherever you do. You show him how he does. He asks questions. Okay. Some months uh, when he gets. A good understanding he can do the job then they promote him and then he becomes your boss uh, are you sure some are you sure the stories i'm speaking I'm, from i'm i'm god anyway and you have a why lot don't of we value our own why don't we see the thing is i don't get it you can't get them to come out and speak because it's going to go against you yeah and then they you need the fired. money yes yeah. they also need the money you need to get paid because the people oh. need the money and the way they sometimes you ask each of the workers the laws you know to protect them are you they people even aware of is, it? This is the reason. This is this is some of the reasons why some of our skilled, qualified personnel wouldn't stay in the country to work. They'd rather travel abroad. Oh yeah, the most, most of them, most of them have moved because out to go and offer the services. In why, when you go by Qatar, why, they get a lot of opportunities man, anyway, there. Anyway, we'll talk about this later on, but it's, it's really bugging my mind right I now. feel that, I mean, this is good news, but then this is this has been long coming. Exactly, this has it's been a long too time long coming. coming. Yeah. Are you not realizing that these people needed to be exchanged or replaced by... And I mean, this this shouldn't just be done with one company. And you know, my issue is to 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 get to the extent or to get to that level or that mark where you would need to import workers, a worker. <laughs> then that should be informing the decision that we do not have this the skill or this person to handle this job. But so far as we have these people here, Ghanaians, come on, come on. Anyway. I mean, we, we, we've spent years, not just Ghana, some different African countries. Mm. We spend years, we spend huge chunks mm. of money. We keep crying out and there's no money. There's money. The money, we're paying it to people who shouldn't be taking the money from us. Anyway. Because we're always bringing in expatriate well, technicians, contractors, and things because we feel that what stops us 
from taking our own people. Mm. You realize that this group here, this student, I mean, you know, some of these presidents <laughs> go to schools know. and you award the best and the best. You take them on. Okay, fine. We're taking you to this country. Go train this and this. After this period of time, you bring them back. They come and train the people you here know, and you use them for and, the and, work. And as much as I, sh- I, w- I want to be happy about this particular development, I feel like why? why it why? should have started a long exactly, time ago. Exactly, you know? Anyway, you should have proceed. said a long time ago. I mean, I feel it's let's, not the best. Let's, let's continue. We just hope this this shouldn't be just for some PR or this thing, and everybody says, "Oh, they are doing all this." Right, doing. right. And then behind closed doors, and we just know, forget it. We have know. we have oil. And we have know, what most of the people own it are not. Surprisingly, this 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 is a bit fishy. It's it's just around that period, this period where we're fixing. Hashtag country blah blah blah. It's, just, it's lurking like, hey, here we saved it. It's, 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 it's just trying to say that cat. we're doing something. You know, we, anyway, we, 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 we have we have <laughs> right. large numbers of graduates here who are going outside the country. Mm. Look, someone someone said that look, if I'll go to the states, or I'll go to the UK, or I'll go right. outside, or go to Canada, mm. and they are going to pay me. See, even if it is just hundred dollars, right. Uh, right now, Biden has made it, what, $15 per hour. Per hour? Yes, mm. that's $15 per hour. So if I go and I'm getting $15 per hour, calculate that. For, let's say, you're working for eight or even for, so that, for f- yeah. five hours. And you're that. washing dishes in a restaurant. They would prefer doing that. People, it would pay off. People said they are going to do that. It would pay off. Because they will save enough money. Have some to spend and take, and, and still know, be able to send know, them down to their know, parents. Anyway, we don't really have much time. I wish we could have gone deep because there's a whole lot of meat with this particular story. But uh, yeah, good news. Save three point five million dollars. I hope these three point five million dollars will be used. Yeah, what the question is? Proper, where is it going to? That's, a, Which that's, uh, another, that's another. That's another question. Oh no! I mean, the guys have said they have saved a from where just for yeah. each month. So let's mm. calculate for so for each month. And then we're in May. How many so months So let's say now? they started in January. So January, so that's, that's five months. Okay, May yeah. is not yet over. So let's say four months. Mm. So let's say, I mean, that's like $14 million. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, very interesting. Good, no, that's, good, that's, good stuff. That's, good that's, stuff like, that's like $14 million. So the but $14 million, hope, what, what, which area are we going to put it in my hope, to help? Well, maybe we, we're not, you know, privy to such an information at the moment. But then my hope is that we, that such amount will be channeled to doing its proper course, you know, not any kind of course. I, but I hope, anyway. I hope we do get to a place where we, we will be privy to some of these things mm. because it's so interesting. We're not privy to the things confidential, confidential. Then when Yawa Pai, that one, it's yeah. for public knowledge. Yeah. Yawa Pai. Only my people in Ghana will understand. When something goes sideways, actually. <laughs> okay, let's proceed. Well, the next HR good news is happening in Nigeria, where you right. have, I mean, a dozing children, more, do, more than a dozing, but then quite a number of children that come uh, to the Majidum neighborhood of Lagos. Okay. And all they do is learn how to play the game of strategy. We know when it comes to chess, look, mm. it develops your brain, your thinking capacity. Yeah. You want to be smart or mm-hmm. you want to think smart or make strategic ahead, moves, yeah. you need to learn how to play chess mm. and learn and practice and be good enough. At it. It's not about you and poor or no, having a, no. fo- a, a photographic memory. You see this, then you can be able to repeat what you have seen. No. Yeah. It's about being able to think out of the box. When you are locked in, how do you actually go out? How do you, Before someone will look at you and say, checkmate. Reminds me of that movie. What's it? The Queen of what? The Queen of Cataway. The Queen of Cataway. Yeah. Brilliant. Anyway. So these these children are actually learning. Now, mm. the person teaching them is Babatunde Onyakoya. Okay. He's 26, and he founded the Chess in Slums Africa right. in 2018. Okay. Now, for him, he believed chess actually aided his rise from his own deprived childhood in Lagos. Mm. And he said he was driven by a conviction that Nigerian education actually is in crisis. Hmm. I mean, okay. some of them are, some of the children are out of school. Some of them that are in school too, it's like, eh, we go, we come, we go, yeah. we come. And most of them actually don't even learn useful survival skills. Oh dear. I mean, look, let's be honest. You have half of the people in school, all they know is what the book is saying. So where have you got into? We are mm. learning this, we are learning. Yeah. Now, after they finish, what will you do with your life? What mm. if the plans you have set in place, mm. I get that job out What if it goes sideways? Can you sit and think? Have a plan B. Literally, based on what you've been thought. Literally, you, get, you know, instead of just deciding to dump yourself the, into a pit. The mindset and use what you've been 
taught in the classroom to practicalize it into reality. We we don't see most of that. So I think it's a I good thing that he's mm. doing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we've seen that if you look in the diaspora, we've seen how chess has actually got a number of oh, yeah, African children yeah, yeah. Uh, scholarships. This article I read about it's this really young and being like the best. I, I should pull it up on. Yeah, first we, we've had a girl and she was the best, and then uh, last week we had a this young boy, a ten yeah. year old boy. That's, he yeah, became the. One. the National chess master in the United that's States. The one. So that's yes, the one. we will. I'm definitely going to pull that one out as African champions of one of these days. Okay, that's all, that's we, all have we have for good news. for good news. Right, the show is Africa Daily on Africa Global Radio.